In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called word ladder. So basically, the questions that were given, a begin word, the end word, and also the word list, which is a dictionary of word list. We want to return the number of words in the shortest transformation sequence from the begin word to the end word. And we can only change one letter at a time. Word that we want to change must be inside the, the, the word list. So let me give you an example. So you can see here, the begin word is hit. So if the begin word is hit, then I have a dictionary, which is uh, these words right here. So what I can do is this is the start word. So I can change this word to hot, right? Because I can only change one letter. In this case, I change the I to O. So then what I can do is I can change the hot to dot, right? So I change the H to D. I can also change to lot. So change the H to L. So now you can see I have hot is gone, uh, dot is gone, and we also have lot is gone. So now we have those words. So dot can change the dog. And lot can change the log. Right? And then at the end, you can see we just have to change one letter. And this will give us cog, which is the end word, right? So you can see here, we just want to know the the um, the number of sequence, right? The number of transformation it takes to get to here um, using the word list. So you can see here, I have one, two, three, four, and five, right? So I changed five words, right? So, I, so there's five transformation, right? So you can do it either this way or this way, but we just want to return the number of sequence that we want. So now you can see we have another example, right? We have a begin word, which is hit. And the end word, which is cock. But the thing is, we, we can change to hot first. And then we have dot, right? So I can also change the dot here. And I can also change the lot. And then here I can change the dog. And then here you can see I can also change to log. But there's no cog in the word list. So I cannot change to, to the cog, right? So basically you can see here, I basically return zero because there's no way for us to transform to the N word. So now how can we solve this problem? So to solve this problem, we, one way we can do this, we can use a DFS, right? We can do a DFS search from the begin word to the N word. So in this case, we can just uh, continue to go down one path. Let's say we have an incorrect path, right? So let's say here we have a let, and let also points to a, let's say another word called Leo, and Leo also points to a different word, right? So what's going to happen is in this DFS, we're basically just going to traverse down this entire incorrect path, right? While the correct word is actually right here. So in this case, we have to go down this path. And then if we cannot find it, we have to backtrack um, and then continue to backtrack until we back to this the, the correct path to go down to another path, right? But what we can do instead is we could just use a um, prepper search to search level by level. And this way, we once we find the word, we can just return the current um, current level, right? In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, right? So four, five, right? So we have five level to get to cog. So we can just do this prefer search, and we will not um, end up in a a a, uh, a wrong path, right? This will give us the shortest path. We can use a prefer search. To solve this problem. So to do this using a breath first search, basically what I did here is I create a dictionary. Um, I convert this the list to a dictionary to a hash set. And then I also have a queue, right? That's a global variable. And we also have a counter, basically counts the current path distance, right? Which level we're on. And so at the beginning we have one because in this case we're starting at the start word or the begin word. So we add the begin word to the queue. And then what we do is that we're going to do a BFS to search the path. So in this case, if the queue is not empty, 
So we're just going to iterate the current queue, like current levels, the, all the elements that we have in the first level, or the current level, right? In this case, the current level is this guy right here. We only have one. So we iterate the size, in this case, one. So then for we pull each and every single element out of the queue, and then we're just going to see if this current word is actually equal to n word. If it is, we can return the count. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to visit the uh, uh, nearby nodes, right? The connected nodes. In this case, the, the connected nodes are hot, right? So we add hot uh, back in, or sorry, uh, add it into the queue, right? Just like how we did in this function here. So what we do here is we're trying to go for each and every single combination. So we iterate each and every single letter in the in in the current string, and then what we do is that we're going from A to Z, right? So in this case, for each and every single character, I can try with A, I can try with B, I can try with C, all the way to Z, right? And then in this case, we, we're basically just going to see if the word that we're replacing, right? You can see that the current string is equal to array. So, and then I check to see if dictionary contains this word. If it does, we're going to remove it and add this word onto the queue so that we don't uh, end up traversing that word again or visit that word again. Right. So, and then in this case, what we're going to do is, is that we're going to add the current character back into the uh, the array. So we're just going to do the same process and try an each and every single combination to add to the connected word onto the queue. So once we've done that, we're basically just going to um, do the do the process the same. We process the same thing. We basically um, iterate each and every single uh, word that we have in our queue, right, and pull it visit all the connected nodes and then add the connected nodes onto the queue and then at the end you can see we're basically have to increase the count by one because we finished the current level so then we're going to see if the queue is empty if it's if it's actually empty that means that we did not find uh that means that there's uh no um no n word that we can be able to find so at the end we're just going to return zero because we cannot find anything right so Basically, this is how we solve the problem. So the time complexity for this algorithm is going to be m squared times n. And the reason why we have m squared times n is because um, here you can see we're iterating each and every single characters that we have in the string, right? So m is basically how many characters that we have in the string. And n is how many uh, words we have or how many strings we have in the word dictionary, right? So we're basically iterating each and every single character that we have in the string. And then for each and every single character, we basically try with a combination. And in this case, you can see here, we're basically uh, converting the string array, right? Uh, or I should say the character array into a string. So this will also give us a uh, linear time complexity or big O of M. So in this case, M times M is M squared. And then you can see here, we're basically iterating each and every single single string, right? In the worst case scenario, we basically iterate each and every single string that we have in the dictionary. So this will give us a time complexity of m squared times n.